First, check out the position of my thumb. When I'm starting on the first string, my thumb is also, look, on the fourth. It's in the middle. So, your thumb is more or less here, which only enables you to play the piccato with the fingers straight like this, from this position. While I'm putting it like this, and my whole hand, the, the knuckles are actually getting closer to the strings, so the whole position of the whole hand is different. So, watch. The thing is that when you start with the thumb on the sixth string, as you did, you will always have a problem that your I and M fingers will be just too straight. It's not, I mean, it's not that it's not possible, but it's just much, much, much more difficult. But Of course, my whole hand will be perfectly climbing from the thumb leaning first on the fourth string and then leaning on the fifth, then leaning on the sixth and then leaning on the box as I'm playing on the fourth, fifth and the sixth string, finally, as I'm going up. Going down, of course, it's all vice versa. Then on the other side, the only way to increase the speed is to start pre-positioning the fingers. How are we gonna do that? Watch. Let's take just this phrase. In, in count. So, we have. So, I'm playing with the M and just, and, and I'm muting it right away with the I finger because the next note that's coming it's gonna be played with the I finger and that's this A so of course the strings that are not gonna be repeated repeatedly played you can leave them playing on, as I'm doing it once with the first, once with the second, and once with the third string. That's called pre-positioning the fingers. And that will, it's a laborious and very tedious process, but it's gonna increase the speed of your picado like tenfold. Trust me on this. I know it's boring. I know it's. I know how it is. But that's just the only way that it's going to be done. First, the very thumb position at the beginning, and then after switching to the fourth string, leaning on the box and going up, but remaining the same angle. As you can see, my knuckles are much closer to the front board than your knuckles. You're starting from a position like this. So when you get up here, you have like you're chasing the strings around and everything is messy and nothing is played correctly and stuff. While I'm having my thumb like this and it's almost the same like I was here. You know, I have a reference point which is somewhere here on the box. I have a reference point so I can play it very very consistently I mean I can rely on where the strings are that's the whole point
So, those are the five most important things about the increasing the speed of your Picada.